We're here with Kyle Short of the men's cross country team, Junior. How do you, how does it feel coming back home? Um, you know, it's always fun to have a home race here. Uh, we always have a good crowd for Lieber, and it's just a it's a fun event. It's a, a lot of energy. For those people who haven't um, who don't know much about the men's cross country team, can you explain a little of how your season's gone so far? Uh, yeah. Well, we had two meets. Uh, we had a warm up 5K up at Marist, um, which went pretty well. We uh, were second at that uh, behind Marist. And then uh, we had another meet this past weekend at Iona Meet of Champions down in Van Cortlandt Park, which we also placed really well. Um, we were 11th at that, but it's a much larger meet, and there was a lot of really good competition. So. You're graduating one senior in Ben Heslin, but he's done a lot for the program. How big of a loss is that for the team? Uh, ben was a big part of the team, but, you know, he's back, and he's definitely – he's with us every morning. He's uh, now our assistant coach. So – even though, yeah, he's not necessarily representing us as a member, he's not a contributing member, he's still a member that, you know, we, I don't know, we still see him every day. He's still a big part of this team, and, you know, he still is definitely a good driving force. A freshman on the team, can you explain a little bit about them? Freshmen this year are awesome. Um, I, I don't know really what else to say beyond that. They're a great bunch. They're awesome runners, good kids. Um, you know, we'll just see how, how it all plays out, but they're definitely a big contributing factor this year. Future's definitely bright for this team then, huh? Yeah, it's a growing team. You know, it's been a growing team ever since um, Ben was here, really. Uh, it's just been getting better and stronger. It's just becoming a much better program. But, um, yeah, it, it really, it seems as though we've never had a down year. Each year it's been stronger and stronger and stronger. You talked about Maris. That's got to be a goal for the team in order to beat them and become second in the MAC. Yep, second in the MAC is definitely a goal that we're looking for. Um, we got to get Ryder first. We were fourth last year, um, but yeah, we got our, we got our eyes on the prize. What do you have to do? What does the team have to do in order to in order to you know accomplish that goal? Um, our whole tactic has been pack running. We uh, start as a group and we finish as a group. If you're not beating our number one, you're not beating us as a team. Um, we we go. I, most races will have very close spreads. Um, you know, our top runner will be 30 seconds ahead of our fifth place runner or something like that. So it's just pack running, really. And we are here with Howie Rosas, a sophomore on the men's cross country team. How are you doing today? Oh, pleasure to be here, Ivy. Well, thank you very much. You know, top overall finisher for the male stags, and not, not a bad way to start off, you know, the year, huh? Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, it's early in the season. You know, we're all still feeling tired, you know, focusing on training. And, you know, we all just wanted to get a fast time in there, you know, top five teams in the region were at that meet, and, you know, we want to make a good showing for uh, kids coming in. Um, a lot of colleges look at that meet. A lot of recruits look at that meet. So, you know, that's our motivation going into a meet like that, you know. Not too much um, emphasis on running a fast time, more so just making a good showing. Uh, is the team happy with their 11th overall finish? Um, we placed 13th in there last year, and, you know, talking to Coach, um, the field was definitely a lot deeper this year, so, you know, we can't uh, really look at the times as much as our place. You know, we are getting better and better every year. You know, we only lost one senior last year on the team, and we've got freshmen coming in this year. They just picked the spot right up, and uh, we're looking to get better and better. Now, for a sport like cross country, is it harder in the beginning of the year, or is it harder at the end of the year? Um, well, I guess that depends on the type of training that you're getting. Um, I could say definitely last year at this time we were feeling a lot better. And towards the end of the season, right after conferences, you know, at IC4As and, you know, the regional meet, we pretty much felt like we were, you know, hanging on. Um, we were trying to prepare ourselves for that 10K because it's a big jump from the 8K, which is 5 miles, to the 10K, which is 6.2. And um, this year, you know, we've been doing a lot more mileage and um, a lot more uh, – serious workouts at this point in the season so you know once we start you know calming down and uh you know going a little bit slower on our runs taking it easy that way you know later in the season we're going to feel a lot stronger we're going to feel a lot better and that way we're going to peak at the right time and you mentioned that one senior that you graduated pretty good player and ben heslin how hard how much of a loss is that to the team um, well, you know, it's not that big of a loss in that Ben's actually still on the team. You know, he's still a major force. He's the assistant captain this year. Um, he's with us at practice every day. You know, he's still that uh, motivational force that he's always been. Um, he is not in the races with us, obviously. He did graduate. 
but uh, he was one of the founding fathers of the men's cross country team. In that, you know, we've only been uh, been recruiting kids right now for about five years. When Ben came in, it was just a team of you know kids coming and thinking that this is going to be a club team, and um, you know Ben reminds us of that every day, and kids coming in and the kids that are on the team now we know that we want to get better and better every year thanks to Ben and kids like that that sacrifice for the team so you know definitely and that's really got to help the incoming freshmen can you explain a little bit more about the freshman class um well we've got four freshmen this year um we've got Jake Ruskin he was a 415 miler um we've got Sam Tooley he's also another fast kid um, Connor Kelly has also been um, a surprising uh, force this year. You know, he did. Uh, he was our first runner coming in at the Maris meet two weeks ago. Um, we've also got Kyle Wegner, who was a big-time steeplechase runner upstate New York, and you know, he's definitely going to be a uh, major contributor at the end of the season. Um, in terms of their work ethic, they're great. They mold into the team right away. Um, I love all four of them. They're great guys, and I'm looking forward to. Um, the end of the season and the next next uh, three years with them. You have two players returning and Steve Flanagan and Matt Bowley. What do they add to the team? Oh, well, you know, they're kind of just like Ben in that they're another motivational force that all of us look up to. I mean, Steve and Matt have been injured for the past, you know, 22 months or so, just on and off from injury. So, you know, they'll be training, getting back into it. They'll be just right back into shape. They'll race a couple of times, and then all of a sudden they'll be injured again. So then they'll take a couple of weeks off and they'll, you know, get back into it and never, ever do they complain about it. You know, they always have a smile on their face. You know, they get there every day, just like we do early in the mornings, you know, doing what they can to help the team. And for those of us that are healthy and, you know, are lucky enough to stay injury free for all these years, you know, it gives us a sense of, you know, purpose that I can say, wow, look at these guys and how motivated they are just for this team. And they are constantly just hoping that they don't get hurt just so they could race and you know we were out there racing every day so we might as well you know make a good showing at it how forward is the team looking to going home back, coming back home oh you know Lieber invite it's a big deal for us you know this is our uh, home turf um, we've got that school a couple of miles down uh, ahead of us they're trying to uh, take back the crown um, we've beat them two years in a row now but they uh, were definitely uh, well ahead of us, you know, before then. So we've seen them running here a couple of times, you know, just getting on the course, you know. It's a, a casual rivalry, you know, we say hello, we'll tell them, you know, where the hills are and what to look out for. But it, it's definitely a competitive meet. Um, I could say we've got, you know, 12 teams coming this year. And it's going to be the first time that we actually can't line everyone up on the starting line. So we're going to have guys, you know, having to take um, on this behind the line, meaning that, you know, we've got four guys on the line and three guys behind. And um, it just goes to show that, you know, five years ago, we never thought that we'd be getting this popular of a team. Um, like I say, we're definitely trying to win it out. You know, it's going to help our uh, progression on campus, you know, to help get noticed. We're probably going to wake up a lot of kids on the quad because the course goes right through there. So that'll be interesting. Last one. You guys want to beat Maris. Is that your goal? Second place on the MAC? Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, Maris is a phenomenal team, and, and um, I respect their coach a lot, you know. We'll say hello here and there. You know, our coach, Sagnelli, he says hello to the kids on their team. But um, I would say that they're definitely just, you know, five or six years ahead of us in terms of, you know, considerable strong athletes. Um, you know, they uh, finished pretty well at Iona Media Champs. They're at the same meet we were last weekend. And we were um, only 38 points behind them. And, you know, that may seem like a lot, but in cross country, that's about, you know, 10 places here and there. So when you think about it, if we, you know, have a really great day at the conference meet and they, they struggle a little bit or have a little bit of an off day, it's definitely going to be an underdog's race. And we may have, you know, some serious contention. And, you know, we think about that every day.